Today we're gonna be doing enchiladas de pollo. This is how they should be looking after you're finished cooking them. Alexander, you want enchiladas? Okay, what you're gonna need for your enchiladas de pollo is gonna be, I went ahead and used uh, two pechugas de pollo and they're pretty big. So if this would add up to like four on the Cardenas or Marqueton, wherever you buy them from. I wash them. For the pollos, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and boil them first. So you're gonna need a little bit of cilantro, a three-fourth of a cebolla, depending on what size they are, and like two garlic gloves. For the salsa, this is what you're gonna be needing. I did eight tomatillos, one tomato, two garlic gloves, one three-fourths of a cebolla, and that's gonna boil. Once it's boiled, then we're gonna go ahead and add dos chiles serranos and half a branch of cilantro, and then caldo con sabor de pollo, so which is consomme for the salsa as well. For the for the chicken afterwards, so we're gonna need also tortillas, mozzarella cheese shredded, black pepper, salt, onion powder, and I didn't have uh, pollo flavors season whatever but i'm gonna go ahead and use the caldo de pollo the consomme to go ahead and season it it tastes really good afterwards i'll go ahead and show you the process right now okay so once you put the cebolla the cilantro and the two garlic cloves in here you're gonna go ahead and add your chicken to boil And you're add, adding sal as well por gusto. So I just would probably put like one or two teaspoons of sal to go ahead and boil it on there. So go ahead and add salt because later on you're gonna be flavoring it anyway. So just put some salt so you could go ahead and boil the salt boiling the water in here we're gonna go ahead and add the condiments to make the salsa which are the tomatillos the tomato the garlic gloves all right so we're gonna go ahead and add a little bit more water so they could all get filled up All right, so let those boil until they get a little soft and then we could go ahead and get them blended. So just leave them boiling for a while. The pollo and also the tomatillos and the tomatoes. Okay, while our chicken's still boiling, the little tomatitos are already done. So we're gonna go ahead and put them in here, in the blender. We're gonna add every single one of them. Don't leave anything behind. We're also gonna be adding some of the juguito. Like that much. I'm gonna go ahead and grab the cilantro and the cebolla. Stop it. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add something. The cilantro that I did not boil. And then the, the two chiles serranos. I mean, it all depends how spicy you want them. You could try one, see how spicy that one is, because for some reason these been coming out really spicy. I just added one. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do. about two tablespoons of consomme and then I'm gonna go ahead and blend it all right so the 
chicken is pretty done already. So I'm gonna go ahead and take it out. And just let it sit so it can cool. Okay, so now the sauce is completely done. I went ahead and put it in a saucepan and left it with a little bit of heat. Um, I went ahead and put oil on a, on a pan. Here's my shredded chicken. I shredded it after it was boiled and ready. So we're gonna go ahead and add that in here. We yeah, actually found it, so we do have the pollo asador, the salsa de pollo. So we're gonna add al gusto, also onion powder. And we're going to go ahead and mix it all together and season all the pollo and just keep cooking it until it is fully seasoned. Since it's already fully cooked, all you have to do is just season all the chicken. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and add more. I like it very seasoned. There's a lot of people that don't like their chicken or meats very seasoned, but I like them that they have a lot of flavor. So I'm pretty much trying it as I go. And if I feel like it needs more, I went, I go ahead and add more. Okay, while my chicken is cooking a little, I'm gonna go ahead and put tortillas in the microwave. A lot of people do it with oil, but I feel like that's too greasy. So I just put it in the microwave for about a minute and let it sit there until they're just a little warm. Okay, so my tortillas are warm. I'm gonna go ahead and dip them inside of the salsa so they can both get seasoned from both sides. Like that. Add chicken. And then roll them. completely roll them. I also put a baking um, tray. I put a little bit of salsa on the bottom. That way the enchiladas don't stick once I put them inside the oven. So just leave them like that and continue on with the next one. Both sides. And some chicken. And then just make sure to roll them. Roll them tightly. If not, they will go ahead and get unrolled and then continue on. Now that they're fully rolled, the enchiladas, we're gonna go ahead and add extra sauce on the top, just to give it that extra flavor. Remember, you're gonna put these in the oven for a little bit, cause I'm gonna go ahead and use Sorry, my baby is crying. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and add some more salsa on top because remember, you are going to put these on the oven since we're going to go ahead and melt the mozzarella cheese on top of them. So just remember to add more. Like that. After that, we're gonna go ahead and eat, uh, I'm sorry, <laughs> go ahead and add the mozzarella cheese all over. Yeah, somebody's hungry. <laughs> I'm already thinking about eating them. So mozzarella cheese all over. So we can't eat them like this, right? We have to put them no, in the oven first? No, we're gonna put them inside right. the oven. All right, just making sure. Okay, my oven is already heated up. You don't have to put a lot, I just put 350. It's just so the cheese on the top can melt. So you put them inside and you let them close until the cheese is completely melted. So 
they've been in there for about like five minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and take them out. And this is exactly how they should look once they're out of the oven. And we have the enchiladas ready. For the final result, Araceli is gonna be my little tester today. Go for it. It's really good. It's something you would eat. It's not too spicy. No? 